I'm not really big on in and out lists, right? I think they're a bit redundant. Oh, this is in, this is out, right? It's a bit dumb. But I do think we need to leave these topics out. 2024, I really do hope these topics get left in 2023 because I've had enough. I've had enough of these topics being the only things that people within the black urban podcasting content space seem to be obsessed about. Please, for the love of God, no more of these topics in 2024. I beg you. There's one thing I would say about London men is they are so attractive, but my golly gee, are they broke? Broke <laughs> like like so Nigerian keen. men take pride in spending. A lot of times girls think that guys spend because they like them. It's because they like themselves. They have their pride. Oh, they're I agree, pra- actually. They're, they're, they're I'm very never shameless in London. Yeah. They're so <laughs> Because if, the, if, if you guys, if they didn't have the pride here, they, here, they probably wouldn't spend. It's like, who's mm-hmm. this guy? Mm-hmm. They, they're prideful, so they're like, I don't want this girl to think I'm broke. I don't mm. want to, they don't mind if you like think I'm suffering. In London, they uh, don't mind if you like wow. think I'm sitting in single bed. It doesn't matter. They're, sh- they're so shameless. Mm. They don't mind a girl feel. They'll be looking at them thinking, mm-hmm. who's this girl? It's honestly, I, I love how proud the men are. And yeah, regardless of too. why you're spending, to me, as long as you're spending it, mm-hmm. I don't even mind. Mm-hmm. But in London, now it's very shameful. So. I really do hope we leave those topics of men and women, dating, relationships, romance, nonsense in 2023. I've had enough. I've fucking had enough. But on the topic of this conversation, shouldn't you be more proud? Shouldn't you be more proud of not having people buy you things that you don't know? This idea of pride being in the ability for you to spend copious amounts of money on somebody you want only for sexual you know pleasures is absolutely ridiculous why would you do that why wouldn't you save your money for somebody that you are planning to spend the rest of your life with or that somebody you're willing to actually settle down with and have a long-term relationship with why would you spend money on just randoms just to impress them and maybe i'm the only one in here that thinks like this but i'm am i the only person that gets embarrassed when somebody offers to pay for something for you why would you be you you get embarrassed when your friend offers to pay you pay for your lunch or pay for your dinner or buy you a drink right you feel a little bit embarrassed you feel a little bit indebted how do people not feel embarrassed when it's a complete stranger and you are basically you know following them around town because they have an ability to what buy tables to buy bottles to get you fucking fancy handbags surely now in the year 2023 with the you know with the prosperity that some places are having with the job market being what it's being with the somewhat equality in pay between the genders if you're a woman that's out there that's really getting it and you're a fucking boss bitch aren't you out there making your own money so you can afford to buy your own things why are you waiting for somebody to pay for your stuff anyway it makes absolutely no sense and this idea that you can shame guys because they're not willing to spend money on you being a stranger is absolutely ridiculous but i do like that they admitted that guys in the uk are proud of what they have and what they don't have because i remember a story particularly one of these guys i knew who used to be a bartender um at this bar i used to go to he ended up picking up this girl at the you know standard bartender stuff he ended up kind of hooking up with this girl and taking her home and you know what happened when he took her home at the end of the night because i was there after after fucking locking having drinks he took her home on the back of his bmx he took this girl back home on the back of his bmx to his shared broom he had and i don't know if you have it in, in other places but in london because the housing market is fucking crazy and there's not enough places for people and people get priced out There are people out there who share rooms where they have like a divider in a fucking double bedroom. One person has a single bed on one side, one person has a single bed on the other side. This guy managed to take a grown up woman in her mid 20s back home to his house on a BMX and smash her on a single bed that he was sharing with another male that was only split with a fucking curtain. So that obviously is a good thing because it shows UK guys have fucking game, right? Because he he wasn't lying to her. He didn't tell her she had, he had a Lamborghini. He didn't tell her she had, he had a fucking mansion. He, she knew what it was. She got on the back of that BMX and he smashed her on a fucking single bed, you know, like overlooking a curtain with another guy in another, in another side pretending he's sleeping. But that aside, I think if you're a dude out there, save your money, save your... Um, presents save your gifts for somebody who actually means something to you 
whether there's somebody that's going to be a girlfriend, somebody that might turn into being a wife, a mother, but save that um, ability to spoil somebody for somebody that actually is going to mean something to your life, not just a random flunky, especially somebody you're trying to hook up with. This idea of spending money to fuck somebody is really strange. Like, oh no, buying gifts for somebody to fuck somebody is one of the weirdest things I've seen in culture nowadays. Because it essentially, it's a, it's a, it's very close to the line of being prostitution. It kind of feels like it, like you're exchanging gifts for prostitution. And the funny thing about it is that the same women who are open to having these experiences with guys where they are willing to have them, you know, but they're willing to receive gifts. They're also the first people to get really offended if the guy suggests, hey, how about you give me something back then? Like you're fucking whole. They get really offended. It's like, bro, you, if you when you enter into a transactional relationship, you cannot be surprised when the other person's transactions are a little bit more egregious in their nature. That's the kind of, you know, muck that you're joining in. I think if you have any value for yourself as a woman, you probably shouldn't involve yourself in transactional relationships because it can get really dark very quickly. Um, so again, I'm sure there's guys out there that are willing and able to spend money and they enjoy it um you know i'm sure that does exist i'm definitely somebody that i definitely attest to the idea that if you're a dude and you're inviting a girl out and you want to take her out you want to show her a good time you want to spend some time together hook up whatever it may be i really do abide by the adage that you should go out of your way to make sure the night is amazing by taking them out picking them up um you know getting them the cab home if they don't want to go back home with you paying for the drinks and the meal i'm i'm a big believer in that and making a good impression on the first date but there's making a good impression on the first date and then there's oh take me to fucking selfridges that's fucking insane or oh, take me to chanel that's fucking insane if i want to make a good impression if i want to put my best foot out then i'm into you of course there's no you know there's no limit to what i would be willing to do to kind of make sure i can increase my chances of getting you out of your house to meet me whether it's hey how, how can i get you here can i get you an uber can i pay for your din whatever it may be just to make sure that we can spend time together cool but all the other shit about just spending money on people, buying people cars and bags and stuff. It's like, what? These guys probably have family members that are probably, you know, are probably way more in need of that money than some random flunky. But regardless, I think these topics are redundant. I think they're boring. And I really do hope that we see the end of these fucking topics in 2023. Please, no more in 2024. I think, and it, even if I get on my fucking, um, if I get on my red pill shit, I literally think those type of topics are really holding back the black community. And again, I don't believe in the whole collective black community thing, but if I was to really, you know, get on that fucking red pill fucking soapbox, I'd say those type of topics are really holding us back. Like we should be spending time thinking about, you know, how to fucking resurrect and restructure infrastructure in Africa and stuff and, you know, fix maybe, you know, dip, you know, um, dilapidated areas in our neighborhood and maybe figure out ways to empower and encourage young kids and shit to stay off the roads and instead we're on podcasts fucking arguing about how much money you should be spending on the first date it's like please 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 grow up enough enough but again 